fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high old silver, the Lone Ranger. horses roamed the mesas in the early days of the western United States, and wranglers made a good living catching them and breaking them to the saddle. But the rough and broken country also gave protection to bands of outlaws, and it was above the rim rock that the Lone Ranger met some of his most exciting adventures. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoof beats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Hello, Silver. We're heading for Crooked Canyon. Hello's waiting for us. Pete Lacey and Pedro Martinez were building a corral across the canyon that sloped from the mesa to the valley. It was a makeshift affair. Stakes had been driven in the ground and ropes strung between them. Then rags had been tied to the ropes. But driving the stakes was hard work, and Pedro complained. <coughs> ah, this is no work for Pedro Martinez de Javadi Roniega. <coughs> Seems to me that I'm the guy with a sledgehammer. <coughs> All you're doing is holding the stake. <coughs> Every time you hit, it hurts my hand. Oh. Next stake will be my turn with the hammer. Uh, we don't need another one. This opening at the upper end has to be big so the horses won't shy away from it. You make it too big, they will turn around and come right out again. No, they won't. We'll get a rope strung across the opening front. I hope you know your business. There are many fine horses up there on the mesa, but they are as wild as the antelope. How can rope and rags stop them? Just look at that lower fence. Rope and rags? Yeah. The rags are flooding in the breeze. Those wild mustangs will be scared of them. That fence is just as good as if it was six foot tall and made adobe. Senor... Yeah, visitor. Oh, yeah. Coming down the canyon. A couple of them. Yes, there is something on their face that Pedro does not like. Yeah, you'll give him a gun. No. The Lone Ranger gave me strict orders. I don't let you carry a gun unless I'm sure you need it. What do you two think you're doing? I am sure. So am I. Here. Answer me. We're building the corral. What's it look like? What's your idea? We aim to catch you some horses, break them, and sell them to the army. Oh, Louis, horses on the base belong to me. Your name happened to be Uncle Sam? I'm Dan Miller, <laughs> and I own the Sickle Lamb Ranch. All the cattle grazing up there in the mesa are mine. Yes, senor, but we do not go after the cattle. We go after horses. They're mine, too. We've had a look at them, mister. They don't carry any brand. And the law says... I make the laws for this range. Besides, I don't believe you. You'll be driving my steers into that corral. Uh, if we want to rustle your beef, we wouldn't bother with no corral. There's plenty of box canyons we could drive them into and change the brand. Sure, you know how it's done, eh? Sure. I've hunted rustlers in my time. Well, your time ain't going to last long around here. Give me your knife, Red. Yeah. I'm going to cut these ropes and then I'm going to... You'll not make a move, senor. Pedro Martinez de Salvador de Roniega have you covered. That's your fancy name for a gunman. It is my own name and I am not a gunman. I guess everybody's got a right to protect his property. This here corral belongs to us. 
Just like the cattle on the mesa belongs to you. We're going to give anybody who touches you the same kind of treatment you'd give rustlers. I've been losing steers for the last month. Don't look at us. We just got here day before yesterday. I'll give you a warning. If you don't get out of this country in 24 hours, I'm giving orders to men to drive you out. And they will know there have been any fights, senor. And if it's a fight you want, we're ready for it. Come on, Reg. Get, get up there. Get up. Get up. All right, Pedro. Huh? Give me the gun back. Oh, no, Pete. We will not always be together. And the gun stays with me. But the mask man said... That I was to have a gun only when I needed it. That will be all the time from now on. Uh Uh-huh. I guess maybe you're right. Nerve of those hombres moving on this mesa without getting leave from me. It's open range, Dan. I'll drive them out if it's the last thing to do. Yeah, it might be. Yeah? They could have the sheriff put you in jail. He's 50 miles away. Yeah, that's only a day's ride. Wouldn't it be better to keep on the right side of the law? What do you mean? Well, the Texan said a man's got a right to protect his property. That applies to you just as much as it does to them. If they was to come to the home ranch and gunning for you, <laughs> well, the sheriff ain't going to say nothing about shooting in self-defense. But they won't come to the home ranch. Yeah, they would if something was to happen to that corral. Just give me the word, boss, and I'll mess it up a little tonight. You don't have to worry about the gunfighting. When they start making trouble, me and the boys will take care of them. I'll fight my own battles. they will get an even draw. Yeah, but two of them. There's two of us. That's enough. Shall I, shall I take care of the corral? Tonight. We'll take care of them upstairs tomorrow. That night, the Lone Ranger and Tonto were riding up another canyon to the west. Unlike the one where Pete and Pedro had built their corral, the walls were broken here and there by smaller box canyons. And it was at the entrance of one of these that the masked man reined up. Tonto, you hear cattle? Hmm. Uh-huh. Seem to be in here. We better take a look. You think maybe something wrong? Well, it's easy to understand how steers might wander down from the mesa. There's plenty of grass and water in these box canyons. But if they're Circle M cattle, they're a long way from home. That's right. Tonto. What you find? You can see for yourself. Someone's built a fence across the opening of this canyon. They've turned it into a natural corral. Ah. Miller not do this. Of course not. There's only one answer, and that's rustlers. You go inside? Yes, Tonto. I want to look at the cattle. Now, Tonto, open the gate. Well, there's some just ahead. Maybe them tried to get out gate. I don't think so. You want light? Well, we could use some. Right here, pine splinter. Tonto, make torch. Good idea. Wait, you don't have to light that. Just hold the match over closer to this steer. Ah. The brand's been changed with a running iron not very long ago. You want me to light other match? We've found out all we need to know. Rustlers are driving Circle M steers down here and changing the brands. They keep them here until the brands are healed, and they drive them on down into the valley. We find, Rustler? We'll do our best. Their camp must be fairly close. There are plenty canyon. We'll investigate them all if we have to. Come on. I don't know, Red. With you working as the old man's foreman and tipping us off just when to make our raids, things are going along pretty well as they are. Small potatoes, Lance. I tell you, the old man's got no kin. Once he's dead, we can fake a will, living to spread to me. Then every cow on the range belongs to us. Oh, it's risky business. Yeah. Shut up, Lefty. You won't take any chances at all the way I got it figured out. The old man's giving me orders to bust up that corral. Yeah? And when he's found dead tomorrow morning, I'll accuse the wranglers of doing it. But there might be somebody around the ranch who'll tell the sheriff the truth. Then you'll be in hot water. Yeah, the old man's all alone. Told four of the boys, including the cook, they're going to town tonight. Told the other two they'd have to ride her tonight and watch out for rustlers. Uh-huh. Well, what do you say? You don't know who these wranglers are. They might have friends who'll try to help them out. Yeah, they're just a couple of saddle bums trying to get a stake. You can take my word for it. Well, uh... Put it up to the boys. Well, that's fair enough. I'll guarantee every one of you that just as soon as the old man's out of the way, you'll be living in style. You won't have nothing to be afraid of. What's your answer, boys? Good. I'm heading east for the corral. I'll meet you at the big cottonwood in two hours. You could do the job and the old man alone. Yeah, I thought you might suggest that, but it's no go. Why not? We're all going to be in on this, or none of us are. Will you meet me at the cottonwood or not? Uh, yeah, we'll be there. Get moving. No 
horses, Pete. Yeah, two of them. They're coming fast. Let him come. Pedro Martinez de Zavadi. Runeg is ready for anybody. Steady on that trigger finger. Might be a messenger from the colonel. Aye! Do you hear that? It sounded like Tonto. It is. Tonto and the mask man. Hello, Pedro. How are you, Pete? Yeah. Right as rain, mister. Got your horses saddled. You're riding with Tonto and me. What is wrong? Dan Miller's foreman is on his way to break up your corral. Hey. Well, thanks for warning us. We'll teach Adamri a lesson he'll never forget. I don't want you to try to save the corral. What do you say? It won't take you long to build another one. And I Senor, think... you do not know. And if we let Red go through with his plan, we can brand him as a crook and round up a gang of outlaws. Not long to build another, you say? How do you think I got these blisters on my hand? Uh, quiet, Pedro. What plan do you mean, masked man? I'll tell you about it as we ride. We're with you. Get your cayuse saddle, Pedro. But, Pete, my friend, the masked man does not understand about the corral. Oh, never mind that. Never mind? There's more important things in the wind than your blisters. My blisters are not on the wind. They are in the hands. Look. Oh, listen, senor. The masked man's got work for us to do. Are you going to turn him down? No, but no. That is something Pedro Martinez de Salvador Reñega would never do. And cut out the palaver and slap a saddle on your pony. We're with you, masked man. Whatever you say goes. My foreman tried to murder me. You're loco, mister. If you ask me, I think you four are the crooks. I don't know what your game is, but it ain't going to work with me. You'll soon find out we're telling the truth, Miller. Now watch your talk. This here's a lone ranger. Yeah, there's plenty of hombres in the West that wear a mask. But there's only one lone ranger. We haven't time to argue. We got you out of bed, and that's where Red will expect to find you. Put out the lamp, Tonto. Did you say Toto? Si, senor. That is the name of the Indian. Well, now, wait a minute, Jack. We can't, Miller. Red was to meet the outlaws at the big cottonwood. Now, which way is that? Uh, to the west. You can almost see it from here. Then we'll watch for them at these windows. They're full moon. It's plenty bright. Red won't bring them all inside the house. And the five of us should be able to handle those he does without any trouble. The leader of the gang is called Lance. And he'll be one of them. We get the leader in red and it won't be hard to round up the rest of them. That's what I'm hoping. They'll expect a certain amount of noise in here so they won't be warned of us going on. I've been an old fool to trust that owner skunk the way I have. Helping rustlers make off my cattle, plan to murder me in my bed. It's well I get my hands on him. Hey, where's my gun? Yes, Tonto. You look out there. That not miss, that dust. Then come now. You're right. Pete, you and Pedro stay on one side of the door. Tonto and I'll be on the other. Si. Tonto see men now. Them stop. They're stopping? What are you opening that window for, Miller? It's dirty. I can't see good. They've stopped all right. Ah, uh, now six men ride this way. That's Red in front. I recognize his horse. You understand, everybody. Let them get well into the room before you make a move. Sure thing. Si, sí, senor. I'll show them. Dan, what have you done? I wanted to get that Red hit myself. I guess he wasn't in range yet. Ah, you've spoiled the masked man's plan. What are they doing, Kimosabe? Them right now. Now we cannot surprise him. They can't see our horses. That's right. The trees in back give them plenty of cover. So they don't know we're here. But they must know you're awake, Dan. Other men ride up. Them start to circle house. They all wear a bandana over a face now. You're awake and on guard. Red knows he can't bring those men up to the house without calling out an explanation. He isn't going to try it. It's a fight, huh? Yes, Dan. They're going to try and smoke you out. Oh, I'm sorry, Mass man. My temper got the bitter of me. I just couldn't keep my finger off of that trigger. You would not be in fix like this eh, if you had not lost your temper with us today. And we wouldn't be here with you. That is the part that hurt most. We are five against twenty. I'm close in now. If these outlaws get you after all, Dan, it is only what you deserve. That isn't true, Pedro. Dan may act and talk before he thinks, but he's honest. He's one of us, and we're all against that gang out there. This is a fight for justice. Si, senor. Then forget about the difference of opinion you had today. If we're going to win, we'll have to fight together. Sure, that's right. right. All right, then. They'll start firing soon. Don't waste your ammunition. Pedro, you and Dan take the other side. Si, senor. Tonto, the back. Uh. You'll stay here with me, Pete. That suits me fine. It's any minute now. There's no telling how long it will last. They're getting well in range. Do we let them start it? Yes, Pete. Uh, that's it, masked man. Open fire, men. Drive them back. curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a moment.
Now to continue our story. When Dan Miller fired on Red and Lance as they rode toward the ranch house, the outlaws were warned of a Lone Ranger's trap. They attacked in full force, and the little band inside the house was faced with a fight for their lives. Under the leadership of the masked man, they drove the outlaws back time after time. The siege continued for two hours, and then suddenly, the firing stopped. What's happened? I can't see him anymore. They might be massing for an attack on the other side. Pedro, where are they? Senor, they are right away. Can it be all over? Do they try to escape now? I can't believe it. They may be trying to draw us into the open. Can you still see them, Dan? Yeah, they're splitting up. Somebody's heading for Crooked Canyon, and the others are going further west. Well, I'm sure glad to give this gun a rest. So hard I can fry an egg on it. Hey, you do not speak the truth. We, we will get an egg and see. Well, it's no time to eat yet now. Crooked Canyon. That's the shortest way to town, isn't it? Yeah, it's what we use all the time. And the other canyon to the west. That's where they have their hideout. There are really only two trails to town. Unless you wanted to travel about a hundred miles. And they know that if we were to try to get the sheriff and a posse, we'd have to use one of those two canyons. I guess you are. There aren't enough of us to round them up alone. We'll have to get the sheriff sooner or later. Unless... Unless what? Unless we made them think we were going after him and didn't. What you just said... I know. If they believed a posse was on its way here... They'd have the choice of clearing out or finding some place where they could hold off a superior force. The trouble is, by now they got both those canyons guarded. Couldn't get through either one of them. Tonto. Uh huh. Come here a moment. You have some plans, senor? It depends. You want Tonto? You know the Rustler's Canyon. Uh huh. Is there any way you and Dan could get below their hideout? Mm, maybe so. It'd take a long time. One, two hours. On horseback, I mean. You'd need your horses. One, two hours. Good. Now, Dan, there's sure to be guards posted at the opening of Crooked Canyon. But if I could get past them... You couldn't. Let's say I can manage it. Hey, then you can ride on to town without nothing to stop you. You can get the sheriff and the posse in. And, and bring them back by tomorrow night. Yeah, it'd take that long for sure. What I want to know is this. Is there any way I could climb back to the mesa once I'm inside the canyon? Well, there's a trail just beyond that little waterfall, but it's awful dangerous, only a few feet wide. I wouldn't try it at night. Silver can manage it. I don't savvy at all. Once you're past the guards, you've got nothing to worry about. Pete. You and Pedro are going to round up your first wild horses tonight. Round up the wild horses? Have you picked out a herd yet? Oh, yeah. There's one that beds down by the creek about two miles from here. I know the place you mean. I'll meet you there in two hours. Will you just answer me this, masked man? Why don't you go on and get the sheriff if you can get past the guards? Because I don't believe the gang would be here when I got back. Yellow, you mean? Yes. They're killers, but they take no chances. I believe that once they think the law is on their trail, they'll break camp and get out of here. But how can wild horses stop them? We'll drive them straight into that box canyon where they have their camp. Oh, Tonto, see now. You want Dan and me below camp, turn horse into canyon. That's the idea. Well, they will think an army is after this. Yes, Pedro. It sounds all right, except you're part of it, mass man. You can't get through the opening of Crooked Canyon. And if you can't do that, they won't be worried about the sheriff. I'm going to try, and I'm starting right now. Good luck, senor. Now, get this, Lefty. you got to keep watch both ways. Dan will try to reach the sheriff. He won't get by. If he does, you'll answer for it. But you got to keep watch the other way, too. There's just a chance that those four waddies I let off tonight will come riding back about dawn. They won't get by either. Yeah, we don't want Dan to have any more help. You said he didn't have any at all. I still can't figure it out. It must have been those two wranglers in there with him. But why Dan and them should be working together is beyond me. Well, maybe Dan is dead. Maybe those two killed him just before we got uh, there. It was Dan who fired the first shot at me. I saw him. Well, you're the one who's supposed to have the brains, not me. If you can't figure it out, why should I try? Don't waste your time. Just... Listen. Oh, I can't hear nothing. Get your ear down the ground, you will. Somebody riding this way. Lance? Yeah, he's setting the guard at the other canyon. Dan won't try anything there. Just one horse. Can't see him yet. This light's sort of funny. Hey, you boys over there, watch out. Somebody coming. The opening's pretty wide. Wouldn't it be better for some of the boys to stand out will there? Will you do it? Oh, not me. Well, then shut up. Whoever it is will be riding straight into a crossfire. He can't get past. Oh, Look, a white horse. That don't belong to Dan. There's the canyon. Where's the silver? He's coming like the wind. Silver. That hombre's wearing a mask, and he called his horse Silver. What's the matter? You seen a ghost? Who worse than that? Get him. What's the matter with you coyotes over there? He's getting away. Or let him away. You can't hit him now. You can't. What happened to you? You didn't fire a shot. Well, I got to tell him. You got to tell him what? Don't you know who he was? A masked man on a white horse? He called that horse Silver. Well? That was the Lone Ranger. Lone Ranger? He's poison, Red. I got to tell Lance. The Lone Ranger was in the house with Dan. He was the one who shot the gun out of my hand that time. And now he's on the way to the sheriff. When they come back, we won't have a chance. 
There's only one thing to do if we want to save our skins. We can stop any posse that comes up here for us. Not with the Lone Ranger in the lead. Here, boy. Hey, where do you think you're going? Back to camp. You can stay here if you want to. Yeah, maybe you're right. We'll talk it over with Lance and then decide. I know what he'll decide. Yeah, we got time anyway. He can't bring a posse before tomorrow sometime. You saw that white horse travel. No matter how fast he is. All right, you mavericks over there. We're heading back for camp. <laughs> You made it, masked man. Thanks to Silver. That was only the beginning. You cannot see the horses from here, but they're just over there right. Come on. Get up. Get up there. Silver and I'll take the north. Well, that's the way they'll try to break. You've had a hard ride already. Look at Silver, Pete. He isn't even breathing hard. That's right. It's magnifico. There's the herd. That black's the leader. There must be a hundred head. Just about. Senor, these are wild horses. They cannot be driven like a cavi. But they'll stay together and they'll follow that black. It'd be a hard job to drive them into canyon you want. I think we can do it. It'd sure be tough if we managed it and the rustlers weren't there. It's worth a try. You two stay here. I'll start them moving. Si, senor. Come on, Silver. As the Lone Ranger and Silver reached the north side of the herd, the scent of danger reached the black leader. He whinnied a warning. Instantly, his wild followers were on the alert. The black started toward the west, slowly at first, then... A volley of shots rang out on the right flank of the herd. The leader broke into a dead run and changed his course a little toward the south, but Pete and Pedro were waiting for him there. Once more, the black headed west, flying straight across the mesa toward the outlaw's hideout. On, the wild horses raced across the mesa. In the first light of dawn, the opening of the rustler's canyon loomed ahead. Now came the moment when the herd must be turned into it. The Lone Ranger rode closer and closer to the black leader. Little by little, the black changed his course until he was heading straight for the opening. When he saw it, his eyes rolled white. and For a moment, it seemed that he would stand and fight. But then, trusting to the speed that had brought his band through other dangers, he plunged ahead. We've done it, Silver. They're heading down the trail. Keep them moving, Silver. Faster, boy, faster. <laughs> Lower on the trail, Tonto and Dan could hear the thunder of hoofs as they echoed between the canyon walls. They're coming. Huh? Yeah, but the outlaws can hear them just as well as we can. They'll be going for the guns. Let them not come out here. I can see the horses, Tonto. Uh -huh. question is, can we stop them and turn them aside? Looks like nothing could stop them now. They'll run over us. You stand ground. I can't manage my horse so good. He wants to get out of here. You yell. Use gun now. Yes. <laughs> The black leader broke his stride when he heard the shots and yelling ahead of him. The Lone Ranger, Pete and Pedro were quiet now. The van slowed down with the black. Would he try to turn back? Would he go on? A break in the wall of the cliff showed to the left. Here was escape from the danger in front and behind. Once more, the black whinnied his defiance. Then he plunged straight into the box canyon where the outlaws had their camp. Do we follow him in, masked man? As fast as you can. Good work, Tuttle. You turned them just in time. Uh, the outlaws are in for cover. They think posse has come for them. Those horses are better than any posse we could find. They sure don't care for nothing. That's red. Dan, you and Tuttle go after him. Yeah, it'll be a pleasure. We'll get the leaders as we planned before. Yeah, come on, Tuttle. Hey, there you are. Reach, come, reach for the sky. There's Lance trying to get out. The big one. Yes. Pedro, here's a chance to prove you're the best man with a lariat in Texas. Go for him. Oh, si, senor. The second rope is ready, and... Got him. Oh, certainly. I've got a gun. I lost today, surrender. Yeah, he's red mass man. Hey, you got us out numbered. We give up. Tell your men to throw down their guns. Yeah, they have. What do you think they're yelling? They're giving up. There go the wild horses. They're heading for the clear. Can we try and stop him? No, Pedro. You and Pete collect all the guns and then start tying the gang up. Hands enough? That'll be fine, but work fast. It's getting lighter every minute. And they'll soon find out there's only five of us here. Now, Tonto, help. Yeah, we work so fast they think that he's London to the Yeah, it was a trick. You drove wild horses in here and we thought it was a posse. <laughs> That's right, Red. And you can thank the Lone Ranger. I spoiled one of his plans to get you, but there was nothing wrong with this one. You and your whole gang are going to jail for a long, long time. Uh, 
<laughs> That's some procession going down the trail, Masked Man. I'll bet the sheriff never made a bigger haul of crooks in his life. You won't have any trouble getting them to town. Sure not. All of Dan's men are riding with him. Do you leave us now, senor? Yes, Pedro. I suppose you and Pete will stay here and get your horses. Si. Well, I don't like to interfere with your business, but there's one favor I'd like to ask you. Anything at all. I'd like to, but I'm not going to. Perhaps you can figure it out for yourself. Oh, you must tell her, senor. Let's go, Tallo. Adios, boys. Get him up, Scout. Come on, Silver. Adios. Hey, wait. We cannot let him go, Pete. We must find out what he wants. Uh, don't worry about it. You see, I will be thinking in circles till I find out what it is. Well, it's got something to do with our business. Huh? We're out to catch horses. But that one herd with the black leader did us an awful good turn. I got an idea the masked man would like us to leave him alone. That is it for sure. You think we ought to? Ought to. If you want to stay partner with Pedro Martinez, the Salvador Irenega, you will not even mention the black leader again. Oh, wait now. Don't get riled, senor. The black's safe. And so is every other Mustang in his band. As far as I'm concerned, they're friends of the Lone Ranger. That's enough for me. you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.